Alright guys, this is um, part two of the video um, that I did on the product review. Um, this was the um, the Ellen Lavar Nourish Oil. Um, if you've ever watched Hair Trauma, um, I think uh, I forget what channel. I think it's Style TV. I don't think it comes on anymore. I'm not quite sure, but um, this was her her product and it was just okay i mean it's not anything that i would go out and get again you know i would i wouldn't buy it again um but you can get it like from cvs um this is africa's best carrot oil and it's supposed to be you know organic or whatever it's okay um i'm not that great I, i'm not really that enthralled about the product and it's not um i'm just trying to read some of the ingredients and it's really not um it's not all natural um it has hydrogenated hydrogenated vegetable oil um fruiterol alcohol and a whole bunch of other stuff i can't even pronounce soybean oil peanut oil so i mean i wouldn't I would not buy this product again. Um, I think that it was just a waste of money. Um, I also have the organics, the olive oil. Again, it was, it's just a waste of money. I think I got like both of those products together and it wasn't even $5. So, um, This is the Miss Jessie's um, Rapid Recovery hair treatment um yeah and i only got the, the um two ounce size because i wasn't really sure if i was going to like the product or not i mean it was pretty good i used it on my niece's hair and i could you and i could tell a very huge difference um because her hair was like breaking really bad and this did really well um if i continue to use the miss jesse product i would definitely get another um a larger tube with this um miss jesse's she's kind of pricey but i've had pretty good results with her products just other than the um the buttercream with all the peppermint in it but i do want to use i i'm trying to go over to a holistic lifestyle so i do want to try and use things that are are all natural so that would kind of cut miss jesse's out but if you want to try her products they are good. Um, I do think they work because they work for me. And she normally has um, a good sale on certain stuff, like the shampoos, because I was using this, the Soapless shampoos. Um, I forget, I think it's like Creme de la Creme or something. Um, and it, um, it's pretty good. I used it on my niece's hair with good results. I used that and the, um, the Rapid Recovery Treatment. And it did really well, you know, in her hair. So her products, they do, they they do work. Um, and she's having a vocal sale right now. Um, if she still has the supplies, and you can buy one, um, I can get one free. Um, um, this is the healthy hair butter from Carol's Daughter. I haven't used this in a long time. I just haven't um, thrown it away because I figured I could use it for like lotion or something. But I don't like the Carol's Daughter products at all. Um, this is, I was looking for something to give my hair moisture. And this is the Pantene Relaxing Natural um, Hair Moisturizer. Uh, didn't like it. It, it didn't give me um, the moisture that I needed at all. And I used her shampoo and the conditioner as well. And I just didn't like it. I, I would not buy Pantene Relaxing Natural. Again, you know, some people, it, it works for some people, but not every product works for everybody, so. Um, I use the Mango um, and Lime Tingle Shampoo. Um, it's been a while since I used this product. Um, it smells pretty good. It did relieve the itching um, and everything. It does ha have sulfates in it, and so that was the reason I really didn't use it again because it really did dry my hair out um and if you and if you do have a problem already with dry hair then you might want to get a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner 
because it, there are some sulfates in, you know, conditioners. And that's why you're able to do a co-wash with it. It is because of the sulfates. So, you know, conditioners do have sulfates. Um, and this is the um, hair nourish cream, hair nourishing cream by um, the Jane Carter Solution. It's good. Um, I use it for like hand lotion. I haven't used it in my hair in quite a while, but I do use it for other things. And I know you noticed the little guy in my arms and his fur is all fuzzy because he's a sleepy head and he's been laying around. But this is Gucci. This is one of the family members. This is Gucci and it's time for his nap. Um, so he's a little groggy. But um, I felt comfortable, I'm sorry, comfortable using the Jane Carter solution, the shampoos and the conditioners, as well as the, um, what is it, uh, the nourishing shine, sorry, on him when I ran out of um, regular patch shampoo. So, you know, I'm pretty comfortable with Jane Carter's products. I really like them a lot. Um, and this is the um, shampoo that goes with the Kinky Curly. Um, and it's called Come Clean supposed to be a natural moisturizing shampoo I don't have an issue with um, the Kinky Curly at all you know um, I don't use it the way that um, the product says but um, cause this, I have the Kinky Curly in my hair now um, I don't know and the lighting in this room is terrible and I do apologize but um, I do have it in my hair right now and I just I spray it um, every day basically with the glycerin and the water and I put peppermint oil and a few other oils in um, in with the glycerin and water to keep it fresh. Um, I pressed out my hair. I'm um, not really pressed it out but I blow dried it with um, and I used the Blue Magic with it. Mm, it's okay. I, I would not <clears throat> recommend blue magic. I mean so some people like it. Um, my sister in law uses it and my niece is here all the time. But it was just okay. Um and you should be careful with blow drying your hair anyway. And if you're gonna blow dry your hair you do need to get some type of heat protectant. Um she has a great heat protectant for your hair and you shouldn't really blow dry at too high of a heat because it's gonna cause your hair to split and you're gonna have damage problems. And you shouldn't do it that often because you can mess up your curl pattern. You can completely eliminate your curls or you can leave um, some of the hair straight, some curly, some, you know, partially curly. So you just have to be careful with the heat when you are when you have um, natural hair because you can damage your hair as well as mess up your curl pattern. Um, this is just um, the cream of nature. It's the rosemary and lemongrass. It's... Um, a leave-in and I used it a few times um, I'm not gonna say it's a bad product I just have had so much so many problems with dryness in my own hair um, and this is the itchy scalp um, I, some, I would spray this on my scalp and it's by Ellen Navarre this was this is her liquid glass um, it's supposed to be like a smoothing and styling gel um, and anti frizz her products are just okay I would not go out and buy her products again, you know, to be perfectly honest. They're just, you know, okay. Um, sometimes I twist, sorry guys about the camera, I, I twist my hair and I used um, the Elastic QP to twist it and, you know, um, like a hole for it. Um, this is, I have the Coco Care. And it is the vitamin E oil. And sometimes I would rub it on my scalp. And I actually, um, I would use this. It, it's by Carol's Daughter and it's the Kizzy. It's um, stay put. And it's supposed to do, be like for updos or whatever. But sometimes I just, you know, use it for whatever. But, you know, um, I don't really want to do a third video. Because I really am kind of like at the end. Um, and I hope you guys got something out of my product reviews and I thank you for watching. Have a pleasure.